we welcome you from the Pittsburgh Cleveland game joining us live um, version 2.1 why version 2.1 I needed a shower I felt kind of scuzzy a little bit greasy and uh, we were pretty much one hit from death anyway as we knew from all the times I died last episode so I ran over grabbed the code ran back took a shower and now we'll go back downstairs and see what we can find. And man, this running limit is so annoying. Trying to walk three screens over to the left in order to get the code to go through the door. Ooh, hey, new area down here. Uh, down, drop, sweet, no damage. Into the maintenance tunnels. I felt like a rat in a trap. Why wouldn't you jump? No jumping. Okay. Warning! Electrified air purifiers active in maintenance tunnel. Do not enter. Do not enter. If maintenance is required, lodge form 14B with engineering department and await decision. Or ignore you and go wherever the hell I want. Hey, that's not cool. There's a shower right here. Alright, so I wasted my time. Not yours, though. Next time I'm wasting your time. Okay. Seems like it's just a don't touch the sparky blue thing. If only they moved at the speed of electricity. Go down here. That was difficult. Holy crap. Run, jump. Get up here. Get up here. That did not look fun. Oh, how am I going to do this? Drop down. I don't need to run. I can just walk, right? Whee. Drop down again. Drop up. It was very nice of the uh, designers of this place to make sure that the electricity was... Hey, a yellow zombie. Well, aren't we special? Duck. You can't hurt me. Time to shoot Jaundiced Captain Picard all over again. Boom. What's... Oh, I'm trying to think of a funny joke involving yellow, but I, the word I want is not the right word. Spanish for yellow is amarillo, and it doesn't work out saying, I am Locutus of the Borg. <laughs> hey, whoa, that was kind of freaky. <laughs> Apparently he's got an itch on his back. I'm trying to rub it up against the wall there. Like Baloo from Jungle Book. Look for those bear. What is that? That looks like Westbury. Some fat bald guy. Probably Bill from Arlen, Texas. And a Puritan sitting at a table. I just tapped the microphone. You picked up the elevator control key. Through the vent, I perceive voices drifting down from the room above. Not mince words, Westbury. <laughs> Not mince words, Westbury. Thou knowest why I assume I don't. That voice, no doubt about it, it was my mysterious captor. The other voice was the one I recalled speaking of me from outside the medical room. Tis that damn memo thine assistant sent off, the one exposing to the entire crew a certain little truth V decided not long ago not to reveal. Yay! Or is this Petrovich? With good reason, apparently. We lost eighteen crewmen since then, and more each day. <laughs> Certainly an unfortunate course of events, but I fail to see why you are complaining to me about it. I am super genius. Fail to see? Westbury, you are very clearly identified in Deacon's memo as the first person who told him the truth in the first place. Is the pr I can't read English today. Deacon committed suicide seconds after he sent that memo, Dr. Petrovich. Would you really condemn me on the word of an emotionally unstable man? I would, yes. God damn it, Westbury. Don't take us for fools. Soviet Russia, we trick you. You are mentally ill. An idiot could see that. O'Hagan has put it in writing that she believes you are maniacally, uh, manically depressed. She is, I remind you, a trained psychotherapist. Manically depressed? Those are opposites. I do not find this finger pointing constructive. Your re our resources are low and morale is in the gutter. You cannot move, remove me from duty while I remain useful. The hell I can. Do you know how close you are to an emergency containment order, Vesperi? I want to suck your blood. <laughs> 
We have all the evidence we need of your mental breakdown. One or two of the orderlies who used to work for the quarantine decks have come forward. And they have come out of the closet. They come forward out of the closet. We know all about what you've been doing to 1213, making him run that dangerous hazard course every day for your own sick amusement. It was exercise. Which means you lied to us when 1213 beat poor orderly Stibbins half to death. You told us it was an unprovoked attack. Cattle prods are not provocation. And while we're on the subject, who exactly let him out of his cell and gave him a gun? What are you implying, sir? First you accuse me of torturing him, now of releasing him. At least choose one story and stick to it. You're manic depressive. We can do whatever the hell we want to say. Vesperi, you know that's what's good for you. You will keep your silly mouth shut and act like a professional from now on. Yes, sir. Now listen carefully. Our priorities have been updated since 1213's tussle with 916, which proved that 1213 may yet be potentially of use to our purposes. Ghostbusting, apparently. Priority one is to recover 1213. Once he is in custody, there will be a two-week assessment period before he begins his first scouting mission. Two weeks? Why must we wait? Why must we always delay? Vesberry, shut up! Our number two priority, which you should consider your sole duty from now, is restarting the GFG project. I don't know. I don't have a joke for that. Those are our orders, and now that is, uh, and that is how it shall be. I understand. It is a glorious sandwich. This is not cool because my motor control... Sir, I have to leave it here. I don't want to walk all the way back here. Oh, that's kind of handy. All right, I'm going to save. I'm not going to quit yet. Um, uh, again with no pockets. God forbid I carry more than a gun and a little card at the same time. I can't just tuck the card into my pant waistband and then pick up the circuit board with my other hand. No. Oh, wait, I don't want to go here. Go up here, this way. That way I can shoot him faster. Actually, no. Go this way. And just be quick about it. Ah, thank you. That was suitably quick for my purposes. I have a clue that this... Yes, on this side. Ha! Opening this door wasn't a waste of time, because it's open right now. Sweet. Take another shower. <laughs> I'm still not going to do the fake orgasm noises from herbal essences. Run this way. Probably shoot a guy in the face. Nope, no guy to shoot. Okay, so this key card will probably be the thing that opens this door. There's a narrow slot in the panel. A key card is presumably required. And there's my key card. This panel? The, button were un the buttons were unlit and didn't appear to be doing anything. The current position of main elevator, level 8. I open the panel. There seems to be something missing. The circuit board I left upstairs. Dang it, I hate this game. Or downstairs, upstairs, doesn't matter. Uh, can I backtrack in enough time? before the video ends. And that way we can have a little bit better of a cliffhanger. Get down here, run this way. Now see the stupid running meter, if it would let you run a little bit further each time. Down, down, down. Go down. Whoa. Hi away to the danger zone. Well, at least the door stayed open and I didn't have to go back through the obstacle course. I'm gonna take it right in to the danger zone. What was that from? Just the other day I saw a parody or something, a video where they said that we would, you know, so what you're saying is that we would be entering what could be called a zone and that the zone might have some form of conflict or danger within it? Yes. And we're going... Oh, that's what it was. Um, Avatar the Animate... An Avatar the Abridged Series. One of the few funny jokes that I've heard in that series. And my forgiveness if the guy who made it watches this video and is offended by my lack of finding him funny. But rather than... The Fire Nation was coming at them and they were going to <laughs> fly in balloons and their other airbender flying uh, rigs. 
into the dangerous zone where all of these firebenders were. And so <laughs> they started with the, so you're saying that we're going to fly into an area that would be filled with danger? Yes. So we're taking the highway into the danger zone? And then cue the music and the face palms. The circuit fit perfectly. Um, most of the buttons mean nothing to me. I press one at random and perceive a low hum on the edge of hearing for a few seconds. And then a milk bone popped out of the bottom of the console. Console. It was the first bite to eat I've had in weeks. All right, let's go. Let's end in the shower. I'm pretty sure that means the elevator is now back, and we'll save here. Save game. Herbal essences. Save. And goodbye.